Good morning, everyone. Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so, yesterday got a little hectic, um, and I didn't get round bales of hay put out, so I'm fixing to do that real quick. Um, we had a, a, a calf that went down, moved the calf to the barn, um, and my son's first varsity baseball game of this year was yesterday. So, we got a little rushed yesterday afternoon and we went hauling butt up there to the high school to watch some baseball and of course it got cold all of a sudden like it does at baseball fields all the time but anyhow um we don't have a whole lot of time today because it's gonna rain <clears throat> so i'm grabbing the tractor now i'm gonna run put out some round bales um and we're gonna check on the cow uh we're still waiting on this other farm with pigs, uh, they have a set that they have made for collecting pigs in the field. And they've done a, a, a little bit of a quick study on how to collect them up that far out without having to move them all the way back and then moving the ones they're keeping back out to the field. So um, it's looking like probably gonna be Monday again um, before we get anything or, or more piglets. So we're gonna work on trampling, ch or not trampling chicken coop, but the uh, mobile chicken coop today. Uh, so y'all hang out with me and we'll see what happens. I don't have hay forks, but we have forks. You can't do it. <laughs> my, feet, my feet ain't gripping this Not gripping. So let me show y'all what we're doing. So we don't have a, a hay fork. Actually, this, we do have a hay fork, but this tractor with this bucket and way out here from the mass will not pick up a round bale of hay like that. So... We put the forks on, we roll a round bale of hay onto it, and it will manage to get it up off the ground. I'm probably gonna tear this tractor up one day doing this, but this is the best way that we have to do this right this minute, so here we go. All right, so here we are with the first roll. We have two of these rings. This ring um, was given to us. The top half of it was all bent up, but it still helps us contain the hay so i'm gonna move that ring out of the way i like to try to keep them in the same spot so we don't tear up everything out here but everybody's ready so we we, we polished off our round bells yesterday daddy come guys and just like that number two so now this will hold them for about uh almost a week we put out two bales a week. Uh, we're down two cows and we just pulled a calf out of the pasture. So they'll go through it a little bit slower. So morning check-in for this young lady. It's kind of dark in here. It's early. Um, anyway, so the swelling in her face is down a little bit. This is going to be a terrible video. Um, she has drank some water. Uh, she ate the vast majority of the hay that we put in here with her. She's still kind of eating. Looks like she's been moving around all night there's some poop in some different places so um we're just going to keep an eye on her the swelling going down around her face and and her under her jaw there is is a very good sign um we may come down here later on and clean this out she's doing the lazy cow this is what lazy cows do they lay here and they eat hay laying down anyhow uh we'll keep an eye on her and maybe check back on her later on all right so another thing we're going to do today is we've had this uh chicken yard set up for about a week and a half uh, maybe two weeks and i mean you can see the ground behind it for wintertime ground they haven't really torn it up terribly but um it is time to move them so we're gonna this will be the second time we move this netting and uh we've just kind of been angling it out in different sections uh to get them on some better ground um we'll be working on the uh the mobile chicken coop so we can take this thing out to different places here very soon all right so we got the chickens netting uh rearranged and it didn't take in a ton of new ground but it did take in some new ground um i'll walk over here and show you in a few minutes what i've been working on with this um uh mobile egg coop or egg mobile so most people call them uh and that's what I've got to get busy on because within a week or two, I would really like to have it done and have these chickens moving around in different places where the ground is a little bit better. Um, but I'm going to show you that real quick and then I'm probably going to cut this video off. This is just kind of a, a 
bumming around type video showing you what what kind of stuff we do on a normal basis we did we did clean out two uh, chicken tractors that we've been keeping some other chickens in we had some egg layers in there we've got some if the price of lumber will ever go down I'll, I'll finish that barn out there but we've got two 10 by 10 dog pens out there in that barn that we are keeping some specific chickens in right this minute clean out these two coops or tractors rather and that one over there still got some buffs in it that jamie wants to keep separated uh but for right now this is getting pretty close to it we've been getting some drizzle uh and the bottom is supposed to fall out here within about an hour so let me show you this wood stuff i've been working on for the mobile egg coop all right so if you've had any building projects going on here recently you know the cost of lumber and it's high it's real it's like double um so we've had a pile of lumber um my son was working in residential construction and every time they would finish a job and the uh contractor had a dumpster out there was about to throw a bunch of stuff away old walk boards for the masons and, and all kind of stuff like that they would pile it up gonna put it in a dumpster and he would ask could he bring it home now we've used a lot of that on the, what structure of the barn that we do have um and I've just had a pile of it out here kind of waiting to see where I could use it. And turns out that I have other needs long before then. So last weekend we got out here and we started cutting some of this uh, lumber down to where we could actually use it to help build the egg mobile. Um, <laughs> I, I did a takeoff on the lumber for the egg mobile and it was like $700. And I was like, there's no way. I can't. I mean, I, I, I could have done this for $350 to $400, you know five months ago so anyhow let me show you this lumber let me show you what we've done so far all right so most of what i've been talking about is so those are two by tens and two by twelves right there and i think that one is a two by eight but anyhow so this was a much bigger pile last weekend and what we are trying to work on i think the neighbor may have had something going on over there shooting something um anyhow so we cut down into some two by six for our floors so we got the sides and then we've got our center sections and we're cutting down some two by fours um but this is going to be the the floor structure that i've got cut up so far and i'm just going to keep cutting this stuff up see how far it goes it's not the uh, most ideal way to do it i actually did find a guy probably about five or six miles down the road that bought a sawmill i'm jealous I'd love to have one, uh, but he bought a sawmill and he is, I don't know where he's getting the logs from, but he's cutting and selling, um, you know, rough cut sawmill lumber. So I will be visiting him soon. He's got a pretty good board foot price. So I'll probably finish building it with that lumber from him, but this is gonna be a good start. I'm gonna work on this this afternoon. So just to kind of show you what, what we did with some of the birds that were in the, um, one of the chicken tractors. So these are gonna be replacement layers and there's a couple of them in there that look like they're gonna end up being roosters, but that's fine. Um, we picked these up from a guy not far from us that uh, does a lot of hatching. I mean, like he just he just hatches and hatches and hatches and I, we picked these up from him really cheap because he uh, wanted to, to just basically get rid of this big group. He was tired of feeding them. Um, and then this next group over here is so we've got a couple of uh extra roosters in here that'll come out and come the springtime we need to get those roosters out here pretty quick though um come the springtime jamie wants to hatch these are uh i just drew a blank silver silver lace wine dots black lace wine dots something like that um anyway they're a really 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 pretty bird jamie likes them and she wants to grow them and sell them to people so that's what she's gonna do um anyhow just thought i'd show you guys this kind of stuff so we kind of let you know where we've moved some things to and from and we've got this really really fancy roof on this stuff look at this it's just a bunch of tin laid up here <laughs> it's uh farm ingenuity all right guys i'm gonna call it for this video um like i said it, it this is just one of those videos where i was kind of uh telling you guys what's going on and, and showing you guys some things that we just do i mean on a day-to-day -day basis um i've still got to go fill up a pig feeder and i'm going to check on miss piggy uh she's been really quiet over there this morning she's she's getting close so she is uh she's
she's feeling it. I, I looking at her earlier, there was I could see some some piggies moving in that belly. But anyhow, um, thanks for watching. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. We've actually had a, a for us a decent amount of new subscribers. Uh, we appreciate you guys subscribing. Um, look forward to giving y'all some some great videos over the spring and summer. So um, like and subscribe. Share with your friends. If you see something that you feel like we're doing wrong, let us know. I, I mean, you know, we're all about learning and, and uh, doing new things and, and, you know, sharing what we've messed up on in the past. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next video.